Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Silverman, Amazon best-selling author of Inside Out Health, ACA Sports Council Chiropractor Year 2015. I'm excited to be here at NeuroCon at the virtual summit, and I'm gonna be talking in this video about chronic inflammation and its effect on the nervous system. So many of our patients come in with elevated inflammation. Our chiropractic techniques are gonna take longer to help that patient get to that outcome that we all want them to achieve. Many of these uh, issues are like PTSD, depression, Alzheimer's, musculoskeletal injuries. When inflammation is elevated, all the whole body now is on fire from the inside. Inflammation set a fire. So let's talk about some ideas on how to decrease chronic inflammation. One of the ones that come to mind first for me is low level laser. Has an FDA clearance for decreased pain and increased range of motion. It's shown to decrease inflammation at a cellular level. I'm gonna detail two to three different lasers succeeding in this video. So before we do, one of the big takeaways of the laser in this genre now with COVID-19 is the ability to have a safe distance, to be touchless, and we don't have to really get in the grill of the patient. So here's the mask. If you wear a mask in your office, if you have your patients wear a mask, you can be masked. I'm gonna take the mask off. I'm actually gonna have Vanessa take the mask off because you're gonna to need to hear me, got my mic, and Vanessa wants to show a good smile and I want you to be able to see everything as I work in her head. Having said all that, let's start with the Accelerate. The Accelerate has FDA clearances, an FDA clearance for decreased pain and increased range of motion. What's great about it is, again, I can come in this particular area, laser the area, so you're using photon energy now. The photon gets into the body and imbues the body with a lot of energy in the mitochondria and strengthens the area. It's great for decreasing inflammation, working through anti-inflammatory pathways. You know, when you look at the options that patients have with drugs, I mean, we know that pain opiates are not a great answer, adjustments, two adjustments for the lumbar spine, decreases uh, the use of pain opiates by 55%. Lasers has FDA clearances for once again, decreased pain and increased range of motion. Now, the EVRL, this one's a little different. This has both a red and violet light. The red light is a 635 nanometer light. What's great about the red light is it's good for musculoskeletal. The violet light has shown to be very effective antimicrobial. I did a study with this particular laser where we got an FDA clearance for increased, decrease, increased, decreased pain in range of motion. So the study was interesting in that, again, it was 13 different minutes, different spots, and we got an increase of 75% of the patients got a decrease of 30% of pain. So I always look to this EVRL. I found it to be a great choice. And last but not least, if you don't mind lying face up, actually face down, I'm sorry. Let's talk about one of the bigger things in chronic inflammation, lower back. So I'm going to take the FX 635, which has an FDA clearance for chronic lower back pain. I'm going to apply it to Vanessa's lower back. I'm now going to stand here. As you see, it's not touching her. As you see, I don't have to get the close and I can walk away and leave her in the room. A couple of quick things while the laser's on her. I want to talk a little bit about lifestyle with the laser. I'm a big proponent of more organic food, decreasing the amount of sugar that the patients consume, avoiding gluten, avoiding dairy, and really changing her in the amount of environmental toxins that our patients are exposed to. All these things lead to chronic inflammation. And of course, I always do a scan to try and help the patient move. All these items are very synergistic with low level laser. If you want some more individualized information, I have clicked the link. I'm gonna be doing a webinar on August 13th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's been my pleasure, Dr. Rob, always yours in health. Hi, Dr. Rob Silverman, Amazon best-selling author of Inside Out Health, ACA Sports Council Chiropractic Year 2015. Excited to be here to talk about the gut-to-brain axis and the usage of non-thermal low-level laser to help you through this very interesting bi-directional pathway. 
Now, first off, just want to say one of the great things about laser therapy is its ability to have distance. We don't have to be in everybody's grill, if you will. Physical distance, social distance can occur with laser. I'm going to go through that in this particular video. What's most interesting about it, we don't have to touch the patient. If you uh, desire, you can wear a mask. Doc Dr. Rob can put his mask on. The patient can put their mask on and you can wear a mask. I'm not going to wear a mask for the video so you can hear me clear up. The patient doesn't even have to wear the mask. We work in the same, you can take it off. We, we're in, we work in the office together, so we're, we're all together and I want her to be real comfortable when we take it so you can see her uh, great little smile. Um, having said all that, the gut to brain axis is interesting in that it's a bi-directional communication. It's a critical element for me. The axis is something that I like to treat with all my different patients getting great results. Remember, whatever goes up, comes down. The gut communicates with the brain. The brain communicates with the gut. We all know that at NeuroCon. More so than that, the, the particular mechanism or nerve, if you will, that I want to emphasize is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve, as we all know, goes from the medulla oblongata down through the transverse colon, attaches to the outside of the transverse colon. It's about 80 to 90% afferent and about 10 to 20% efferent. Going up to the brain, it's releasing a lot of cytokines. It's really speaking and increasing peripheral inflammation. And through an inflammatory reflex, when the tone is right in the vagus nerve, that blunts cytokines. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of our lasers, the EVRL, the Arconia Violet Red Laser. I found that the Violet Light 405 has done a great job at stimulating and managing and modulating the vagus nerve. So I'm going to press it. I'm going to go and you can have a great distance. It's a little hard to see on Vanessa, but I don't have to, excuse me, I don't have to lay on her like this. I can take a safe distance, mask on, mask off, whatever your preference is. And through safe in office, doctor to patient physical distance, look what I'm able to do. In addition, it's touchless. I don't have to put my hands on her. So I'm not touching the patient. Some of the patients are a little squirrely now. And I'm now stimulating the vagus nerve with the violet light from the medulla oblongata going through the transverse colon. You're going to find out that vagus nerve stimulation is really going to be a backbone of outcomes in your chiropractic practice. It's a good add to your armamentarium. Now, when we talk about the vagus nerve, we talk about the vagus nerve being plural. There's one on the right, there's one on the left. What's most interesting about the one on the left is that we're talking about satiety. The one on the right, we're talking about mood and behavior. One of the positives to cervical, obviously, cervical stimulation of the vagus nerve is that it's shown to increase blood flow and healing of intestinal injuries. So if you're a gut to brain person, if you look at a little functional nutrition, functional medicine, functional neurology, the vagus nerve is a critical element that you want to add. What I did was I sweeped the area, three to five sweeps, approximately 30 seconds each side, and you're going to get a vagus nerve stimulation. Just before I leave, I want to show you one more move. Could you lie in a face up position? And I'm going to bring the FX 635 in, which is a very different laser. And the FX 635 has a multitude of FDA clearances. In those FDA clearances, it's shown to have nociceptive musculoskeletal healing as it's an override and overview for its FDA clearances. For me, with the gut to brain axis, I like to do a lot of gut healing. So the actual intestinal tract, I'll approach and what I'll do is I'll laser her gut. Now, as we all know, leaky gut is a critical element and 80% of our immune cells are in our gut. It's where our macro and micronutrients are absorbed. As you can see, you can no longer see me. I am not near her. I am a good physical distance. I'm not touching her. There's no reason to touch her. So if those are issues that you need to address now with this whole COVID-19, they're there. But the big takeaway is you now have a touchless system that is going to allow the patient to heal. That's going to work very synergistically with all your other chiropractic approaches and your chiropractic assessments. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm excited about being here virtually. And if you want a little bit more information, anybody who's watching us at 
NeuroCon, you can just click the link below. We're going to have a special follow-up webinar on August 13th, 2 p.m. Dr. Rob, always yours in health. Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Silverman, Amazon best-selling author of Inside Out Health and ACA Sports Council Chiropractic Year 2015. Once again, I'm excited to be here at the virtual NeuroCon. We're going to be talking a little bit about blood flow restriction training for spinal cord injuries. A lot of good new literature speaking about it having positive outcomes, allowing for great rehabilitation from spinal cord injuries. I'm going to take the next step and in this video talk about low-level lasers outcome for spinal cord injuries. In Nature.com, April 4th, 2017, there was an article that was all about laser, low-level laser and spinal cord injuries. The results were very interesting in that low-level laser allowed neurons to survive. Laser also elevated interleukin-4 and interleukin-13, the two anti-inflammatory interleukins. In addition, it was shown to decrease inflammation. Laser also helps regulate macrophages and microglial cells. So it's kept in the ship, if you will, of inflammation, respectively, throughout the body. It was also shown to promote neuronal survival and essentially the conclusion was low-level laser is an effective candidate for treatment of spinal cord injuries. Having said all that, I'd like to demo several different low-level lasers and how to apply them to the spinal cord area and the lower back area. But before we do that, some of the biggest takeaways in the mantra now or the genre, if you will, in the COVID is without question, your ability to keep distance from your patient. I have Vanessa, she works in my office. She's my office manager right here. We have distance, it's touchless. And um, if you want, you can wear a mask. I have a mask. I'm gonna take the mask off. I'm gonna put it over here because um, I want you to be able to hear me. Vanessa's gonna take it off because she wants to show again, as you can know from before, that great smile. And let's get to work now. So I'm gonna stand behind her and I can have a great distance. I'm gonna take the Accelerate. Accelerate your healing. Accelerate has two diodes, 635 nanometers, very similar to what you're seeing in this particular study. And I'm gonna stand behind her and apply the laser to her spinal cord. If you could just turn this way, terrific. We'll have her, and I can come right over here. I can have a stand holding. I can leave the room, or I can take a few steps back. Again, we can have a mask on. It's, again, touchless. It's no contact, and in this era, people can feel pretty comfortable and confident that you're not getting all of them. Plus, you can get all the benefits of using a laser. Now, what's fascinating about the laser for me is it's synergy with all other chiropractic treatments. I found it to be extraordinarily effective. Now I'm going to shut the accelerator off, I'm going to keep her there, and now I'm going to go to the EVRL, the Comiovolt Red Laser, having both a red and a violet light. The red light, 635 nanometers, shown to help with musculoskeletal outcomes, peripheral inflammation, peripheral nerves. The violet light, 405, really shown to be antimicrobial, antibacterial. What's interesting about the 405 is the lower the wavelength, the more photon energy it can produce. We're gonna do a combination of the two. There was an article out that showed that when you had a disc injury, you could see in test blood, you would have an elevation of pro-inflammatory interleukins, interleukin six and eight, and the study showed that the violet light was very effective for interleukin six, and the red light was very effective for interleukin eight. So this is a great choice, once again, for lower back spinal cord type injuries. And again, there's a safe distance, I could have a stand, walk out of the room, I'm not on, I'm a mask on, mask off, whatever it is that you like. You don't have to touch her or anything like that. I could ask her just bend forward if you would, and we can get a little motion, even though there may be a spinal cord injury. And now you're able to apply the laser from a safe distance. And last but not least, what I like to refer to neutral face down is the Pierre Resistance. It's the FX635. The FX635 has its own built-in stand. So if you really want some distance, if you really don't want any touch, and you really want some outcome, it has an FDA clearance for plantar fasciitis, has an FDA clearance for chronic lower back pain, and has an FDA clearance for nociceptive musculoskeletal pain. I'm gonna come over here, apply the laser. I can stand right here, I can talk to the patient, I can take a step back, I can leave the room, once again adhering to the mantra within the COVID, but more so than that, getting a tremendous outcome 
as several of the articles that I um, shared with you before in detail dictated, laser is a great choice for spinal cord injuries. Laser is a great choice for back injuries. It's a great choice in this genre also, not to be too close. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out. There is a click link. I'll be doing an exclusive webinar for anybody who watched any of these videos on August 13th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Dr. Rob, only source now. Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Silverman, Amazon best-selling author of Inside Out Health and ACA Sports Council Chiropractor Year 2015. I'm excited to be talking in this video about the structure and the function of the human cell. Without question, it's the key to wellness for our population in America today. I'm going to get start with a little factoid. 12% of Americans are metabolically healthy. 12%, that's one in 7.5 people. So without question, we do not have the structure and the function of the cell that's needed to get the American population healthy. Food is a great choice. When you consume food, it breaks down nutrients, allowing you to get to the cells to stimulate that energy. Exercise is a great choice for cellular function, cellular structure, and cellular health. Excessive um, exercise causes something called mitophagy, the breakdown of the muscle, allowing it to grow back. We're going to talk about low-level laser today and its positive effect on the structure, function, and energy levels that people will take when exposed to this. Low-level laser, the real key to it is what I like to refer to as electromagnetic transfer of energy because it's photon energy. We're going to talk about the different wavelengths that the acornia laser have, 635, 405. What you're going to see is the lower the wavelength, the more energy it produces, really gonna help the cell structure and function. So one of the big takeaways, as always, in this era of unfortunate COVID-19 is that the laser really substitutes in that we don't have to get on top of our patients. I've got Vanessa here from my office and we don't have to lay all over her. We don't have to touch. We can also wear a mask. So on goes the mask. So in this area, if you're wearing masks in your office, you can wear a mask. I'm going to take the mask off so you can all hear me. Remember, laser is going to be touchless. There's going to be a safe distance. It's great for this COVID-19 for any patients that are truly concerned. Let's get to the laser. Let's start with the accelerate. Accelerate your healing. Red light, 635, photon energy. The beauty of the laser, as long as one photon gets in, and by the way, when I turn this on and put it on myself, this red light, there's 8.2 billion photons per diode. There's two diodes per second. So you're going to get energy in the body. You're going to get energy through the shirt. You're going to get energy and start the cascade. There's receptors in the body that accept this light, this photon. As long as one of the receptors accept it, you're going to have what we call the power of one cascade and stimulate the cell's health, function, and structure. So some of the ways that I like to do it is stand right here and just go into a particular area like her shoulder region. So we're sending photonic energy, electromagnetic transfer of energy into the body, getting it strong. With all these FDA clearances, that's one of the biggest takeaways. So we'll go here, we can do the brain, and I can do it from a safe distance. I can get close, it's still touchless. I'm not touching her, it's contactless. So the, F, the FX 635 is over there, I'm gonna to get to that in a second. The Accelerate is a handheld, it's easy. It's about one pound, it's the size of a cell phone. Now, when we also add the EVRL, which has a combination of the red and the violet light, I love this handheld laser. This has an FDA clearance for decreased pain and increased range of motion. So when I turn it on, I'm going to have both the red 635 nanometer light and the violet light 405. The violet light has even more, 58% more energy than the red light. When you combine the two, you've got a bulging amount of energy going into the body. So once again, I'm going to apply it to uh, Vanessa. You may not see the violet light on Vanessa only because she's wearing black and it dims it out, but it's right here. So again, we're getting energy in the area, helping the cells function and structure. We apply this to many different patients 
in a way that it, they feel stronger, they can contract their muscles quicker. It's something that we refer to as the idea of upregulation. And now last but not least, if you could go face down. I'm doing a little work now, and once again, I'm going to bring in the FX635. The FX635 has a multitude of FDA clearances. The FX635 is a little different in that it's 17.5 milliwatts. The accelerate to handheld was 7.5. So we're getting more milliwatts, we're getting more photons in. And if you notice, if you can come in, what you'll notice is that this is circulating, whereas the handheld accelerate, which is great, is straight. So you're covering a straight line of drive, if you will. I'm gonna shut this off. Got it? Here you're gonna see it's circulating. So what's beautiful about the movement like this is that you get a greater surface area, but you're also hitting the muscle, going away, so you're turning the muscle on and off, so the body starts to adapt and grab more and more photons. This has been a revolutionary change in my practice to add this, and the idea of mitochondrial function and mitochondrial strength is huge. I found nothing better than adding laser into my armamentarium. So exercise, good quality foods, little lifestyle change, add the laser, and you're gonna help America get healthy in those patients standing in front of you, get healthier and have more energy. If you have any um, questions or you want a little more individualized information, I'm gonna share with you in a uh, follow-up webinar on August 13th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Click the link below. Dr. Rob, always yours in health. Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Silverman, Amazon best-selling author of Inside Out Health and ACA Sports Council Chiropractor of the Year 2015. I'm excited to be here at Neurocon virtually. I'm gonna be talking about transcranial magnetic stimulation. What's most interesting about it, it's a great technique that allows for nerve stimulation. It's really applied to the head, obviously transcranial, for people with concussions, TBI, PTSD, neural degeneration, and the like. So what I use instead of the transcranial magnetic stimulation, we're using low level laser, which is a very similar process. What I like about the process is we've got the FX635 over here. I use that on all my brain issues, my concussion. I see a lot of concussion patients. The wavelength is 635. That nanometer wavelength allows to decrease the release of NF kappa B. There's gonna be a plethora of different uh, properties that this is going to allow to help the brain and the areas in the brain heal and create an anti-inflammatory microenvironment. One of the things I want to talk about, and the beauty of it is it's touchless, meaning that it doesn't have to touch the patient, and I will show you that. There's also going to be social and physical distancing. The doctor, the patient can wear the mask, so here is the mask. And if you want to or need to get close or you want to be in the same room with the mask, I'm going to take my mask off so you guys can hear me a little clearer. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set Vanessa up who works in my office. She'll wear the mask this time. She said she didn't want to smile from the last video. And I'm going to start her with the temporal region. There's a temporal and there's going to be a mohawk. I'm going to press start. And as you can see, I can leave. I can stay here, it's not touching her, and I don't have to touch the patient. What's the whole purpose to this um, laser? What's going on in the brain? Well, decrease inflammation, increase angiogenesis, blood flow, increase BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factors, multiple articles on that, very exciting. Again, decreasing the inflammation in the microenvironment, allowing for decreased excitotoxicity, closing the synaptic cleft so we don't have an excess amount of glutamate coming in. Um, in addition to that, we're seeing nerves grow back, synaptogenesis, and uh, some of the other things about lymph and decreasing any kind of swelling are also present when you apply the 635 laser, which is right here, the FX635, to any kind of brain issue. Some good literature in uh, mice, also speaking to the idea of some of the other neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and the such. So I'm just gonna move it so you guys can see. Once again, it's touchless. Here we go. 
And there you go. Now she can wear goggles. She doesn't have to because it's a class two. Just want to speak to that. She can have her mask on, not, not have her mask on. And I'm going to stand over here and again, give you the idea that I don't have to be near her while she gets a treatment. And I want to also show you the accelerate. I'm going to move this out of her way. Treatments for me last anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes because I know people always ask about that. The accelerate is a handheld and in the accelerate this is very easy because once again it's very easy for me to hold it's about the size of a cell phone this has a 635 nanometer and i can apply it to the head again excuse me i don't have to touch her i'm not laying on her it's touchless we can have a safe distance i can take a step away mask no mask in this genre of unfortunately covid19 distance is important I have found this has revolutionized my practice. If you practice functional medicine, functional neurology, this is something that you want, would want to consider in your chiropractic toolbox. If you have any more questions, feel free. There's a link below August 13th. I'm going to be doing a follow-up webinar. If you've seen one of these videos, 2 p.m. Eastern time, it's a can't miss. Dr. Rob Silverman, always yours in health. Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Silverman, Amazon best-selling author of Inside Out Health and ACA Sports Council Chiropractor Year 2015. I'm honored to be here at the Virtual Neurocon, and I want to talk about ROI, return on investment in low-level laser. So many people have asked me, um, how'd you pay for it? Can you pay for it? How do you use it? Well, first, let me tell you my story. It's real simple. I have congenital torticollis, and that congenital torticollis was a driver to get me into chiropractic. As we all know, as chiropractors, we've all been touched by another chiropractor. Star Spangled Banner went off. We have a personal story. We wanted to be chiropractors, and we wanted to have that same everyday explosion helping somebody right there. We were driven into this field because we were touched. With the torticollis, um, I was helped by a chiropractor, drove me into chiropractic. Um, I needed something, I was about 10 years into practice, I needed something to help myself. I needed something that I could take home. Somebody suggested me a low level laser, it was the Yaconia, uh, what was called the PL uh, 5000 at the time. And I added that and I was able to, to uh, do it to myself, I did it to my wife, I did it to my friends and my family. Eventually I brought it into my practice and I've been going forward with it ever since, got all the different lasers. So one, it was so hard for me to, to give you a true ROI because I had such tremendous clinical outcome, but the truth of the matter is, there is an excellent ROI. Um, let's go through each individual. This happens to be a base station over here, and the base station has three handheld lasers. It typically has two accelerates and one EVRL. Uh, some of the more uh, eclectic base stations now typically have two EVRLs and one Accelerate, and I'll go through them all. But the Accelerate is the entry level. It's a great laser. It's a handheld. You can see how light it is. And um, what I found that people have told me that when they add this through lecturing and through uh, other colleagues, they're able to pay this back anywhere between three to six months. It's a very quick and easy repayment. Uh, people talk about treatments and um, I always tell people that or other docs and colleagues that you're able to decrease the time of your treatment plan by adding low-level laser. Having said that, um, the average for the Accelerate in addition would be, uh, in addition to insurance, if you're doing insurance, would be $25 to $50. That's what I found most people work. Whatever works for you in your area is what you should do. I'll give you a little story about the Accelerate really fast. I had a friend of mine in Ohio and I knew he was doing great with the laser. So I asked him to stand up at a seminar and I asked him what he was charging per visit and he said nothing. So I, you know, was wow. I took a step back, but he said he was seeing 30% more patients because he now had implemented the laser into his practice setting. So he said that was a 30% increase. That was his ROI. So whether you charge for it or you see more people, get better outcome, more new patient, that's on you. But the Accelerate's about $25 to $50. The EVRL, I had a statement. The addition of the violet light application with the red light had revolutionized my approach to treating musculoskeletal injuries. 
the light synergy have, has increased my clinical outcomes substantially and my bottom line also. So essentially the 635 is now in conjunction with a 405 nanometer wavelength. So you get both the red and violet. The red is musculoskeletal, the violet is more um, antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal. So this is more of a 35 to $50 per session in addition to any insurance you may take. Again, whatever you're charging, so if you're charging $50 a visit, if you're a cash practitioner, you can add 35 to 50. Again, the ROI on this is real simple. It's three to six months really quick. Never a problem. The truth of the matter is I've never heard anybody complain about their ROI as long as they've implemented the laser because the bottom line is for all of us, we always should think patient first. As long as we're getting patient outcome and you're going to get this. Arconi lasers have 18 FDA clearances. They have musculoskeletal FDA clearances. As long as you're getting clinical outcome, you're going to get the benefit uh, from the patient uh, ultimately financially. Every time I always put patient first and money second, third, and fourth, it worked really well. When I put money first or would argue about money or whatever it was, which I don't do anymore in my office, I'm strictly a cash practitioner now, things have been good. The 635, right over here, this gothic looking uh, laser. This one's a, a little pricey to purchase, but it's got its own built-in stand. Uh, patients love it. Here's something that you're looking at. This $100 a visit um, uh, per visit. So you're going to get an ROI really quick. Again, uh, within a six month period, you're going to pay it back. And one point about ROI, the most interesting thing about ROI is how long did it take you to pay back your school loans? How long did it take you to back, pay back all your equipment? Laser is at the forefront on the return and investment. And the return and investment is you're going to save yourself uh, injuries. Chiropractic is manual, as we all know. You can injure your elbow, your shoulder, your back. This is going to save you. It's going to help the patient. And whatever you do in your practice, however you practice, straight chiropractor, functional neurologist, functional medicine, rehab, etc., laser is very synergistic with all your chiropractic treatments. So for me, I've used it for those outcomes because it's helped me ameliorate a myriad of conditions and symptomologies. So I recommend it for everybody to be put in their chiropractic armamentarium. If you have any more questions about ROI, we've got a click link. I'm doing a follow-up exclusive webinar for anybody watching videos. It's going to be on August 13th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Dr. Rob, always yours in health.